Tonight, we are hearing some astounding new estimates on the cost of the Iowa State Penitentiary in Fort Madison. Back in February, we first brought you our investigation into problems and delays at the new prison, originally budgeted at $132 million. In a Fox 28 News special report tonight, reporter Matt Hamill is back with the latest information and concerns. Yeah, Scott and Tiffany, three months ago, we were all right here, and we were talking about the prison, anticipating that at any time we would find the answers to what went wrong, also expecting that we would finally know exactly when the prison would open. But as of tonight, about the only thing that's changed is the price tag. While few lawmakers dispute that this old Civil War era prison wrapped in razor wire needed to be replaced. The majority of it will be where they're moving from a housing unit. No one could anticipate the financial and political mess that would cause a brawl at the brand new prison in Fort Madison. A geothermal heating and cooling system and a smoke ventilation unit in case of a fire in the cell block are just two of the blunders that had to be completely redesigned and repaired. Taxpayers are always on the hook. The taxpayers are going to wind up being on the hook. On a fact-finding tour of the new maximum security prison, State Senator Tom Courtney was livid, angry about the mistakes and lack of answers. He says he is now convinced taxpayers are in for a shock. It's not any better than it was. Uh, we, we think now the total of this prison is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 million to 220 million. That could be as much as 100 million more than it started out. Every housing unit is basically its own little institution. House Oversight Committee Chairman Bobby Kaufman says after three months of questions and few answers, a gleaming new kitchen, medical facilities, and a first class gym have never been used by inmates. The good news is the geothermal system and most of the ventilation problems are fixed, either under warranty or within the original budget. The bad news, there are still ventilation problems and a staggering $18 million in cost overruns so far. Some say 18, some say 20. is a dispute between the overall contractor and the state. That, I believe, is in mediation and will probably be in the courts for years. Some lawmakers tell us with one engineering firm already bankrupt and contractors pointing fingers at each other in the blame game, they fear more problems are just waiting to be discovered. In my opinion, a lot of shortcuts. State Senator Rich Taylor worked in the old prison for nearly 30 years and has friends there waiting to make the move. He worries the geothermal repairs are just a band-aid. Being a maximum security penitentiary, we can't just ship these guys down to the local gym for a couple of days while we fix the problems. Moving 500 of the most dangerous criminals in the state to the new prison is already more than a year behind schedule. So far past the original date, prison guards and staff who trained once for the new facility are now having to train all over again. It's important for people to know the history of this. Iowa Governor Terry Branstad calls the prison a bad design, but he recently told me even before the heating problems here, he blamed his predecessor for the soaring price tag. This was started under the Culver administration. Uh, they sold about $130 million with the bonds. What they didn't tell the public is there's also going to be about another $36 million worth the cost to furnish the, the prison. Former Governor Chet Culver says Branstead fired the state experts who could have caught the problems. In a statement, he told us the Branstead administration needs to take full responsibility for the mismanagement and waste of taxpayer money. While lawmakers vow they won't give up on recovering that cash, they also don't hold out much hope. But ask anyone here, and the biggest question that still does not have an answer is when will the first prisoner actually be moved in to the new penitentiary? I'm at the point right now, Matt, where I want to get it open. If I were personally forced to guess, I would say September. A lot of uncertainty, but I, I believe we will be in it before winter. But as far as pointing to the calendar and anybody at this point being able to say it's going to be this week? I could do that for you, but it wouldn't mean a thing. You know, Let's just say by the end of September. We don't want to move people into the prison until these problems have been corrected and it's safe. If you're shaking your head, you're not alone. Hundreds of Iowa troopers, deputies, and police officers 
are waiting to hear when they'll finally move those prisoners in a single day. If it happens by September, it'll still mean the new penitentiary sat empty for a year and a half. The state attorney general is investigating to see who's responsible and if any money can ever be recovered. Matt Hamill, Fox 28 News.